Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of NASDAQ Spotlight live here in Orlando, Florida at the Microsoft Ignite Conference. I'm your host, Anna Gonzalez, and we are continuing our conversations today with Barat Rummish, who's the head of IoT product management and marketing at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Barat, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure to be here, Anna. Uh, now that title, your title is very interesting. Tell us a little bit about what you do and uh, what you're, we, we know Hewlett Packard, we're very familiar, but HPE in particular. Okay, so uh, everyone knows HP as a, HP as a you know, company which used to do server storage, networking, PCs, printers, you know, basically all electronics that are under the sun. Uh, and about two, three years ago, we split into two companies, Hewlett Packard, Enterprise, which focuses on the enterprise side of the market, basically building systems and infrastructure for enterprise customers, and HP Inc., which is basically our consumer products uh, uh, division, was spun off into a separate company. So I'm part of Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and uh, specifically my division builds systems and solutions and products that are designed for the edge, and uh, we define edge as anything that's not data center or cloud. Uh, and so it could be an oil rig, it could be a car, it could be a uh, you know, a windmill farm in the middle of uh, nowhere. Uh, but And so there are unique challenges and opportunities that we see in that space. Uh, I can only imagine, and I'm excited to dive a little deeper into that. So uh, what brings you to the conference this week? Microsoft obviously is a very big partner of HP, and we have a almost, I think, a 30-year long-standing relationship with Microsoft. And in the, in the environment we're in today where cloud is quite dominant uh, in most of the solutions that we build for data center and cloud, uh, we believe that many of those cloud technologies can now be deployed to the edge. And a great example is uh, Azure IoT Edge, which is the Microsoft product that allows you to bring some of the Azure microservices that our customers allow and are familiar with, which they can only do in the cloud today, now transplant that to the edge so it's running close to the source of the data that you want to process. And we see that as the great opportunity and partnership for us with Microsoft going forward. That's great. And uh, you mentioned a lot of different opportunities. Yes. Uh, is there, uh, there, are there a few projects you can tell us about that most excite you right now? Sure. Uh, so, you know, there's a big wave now towards uh, having more, uh, you know, a richer ability to analyze data from sensors, be it sensors in a building, maybe to look at your temperature in your room, look at the occupancy in the room, look at the people and traffic flow. Uh, you know, in a building, and then make intelligent decisions based on that. And those decisions could be driving simple things like, is your HVAC system supposed to be running at a particular temperature, right? Or should I adjust it because my occupancy is low? Can I uh, make sure that if a meeting room is booked, the, the person who booked it turns up in the room in time, right? Uh, or can I make sure that if there is a security threat, maybe some anomalous behavior, that my security people get automatically triggered saying, you know, maybe there's a fight that's broken out in the lobby, or maybe there's overcrowding in the lobby. Can you go and address it? So we see great opportunity for things like video analytics being deployed at the edge, because video is heavy data. You don't necessarily want to move all that raw data back across a network. Process it locally at the edge, give you that quick time to insight so you can make effective decisions to improve your business. So that's one realm where we're seeing a lot of opportunity. Uh, in realms like manufacturing, for example, looking at defects on products that you produce, something which has a direct impact on the bottom line of many companies because it reduces your rework cost. Being able to do that kind of defect detection and warning as early as possible in the manufacturing classes, which means on the factory floor, uh, we see our customers having great value. So there's a couple of areas where we see opportunity. Uh, your job sounds incredibly exciting. Yes. <laughs> so uh, tell me a little bit more, you know, with all the different uh, clients that you're working with, are you seeing a, a thread that brings them all together? What kind of trends are you seeing overall? Sure. So, Traditionally, when we think about big data, we think about data from the digital world, you know, tweets, social media posts, ERP systems, CRM systems. That's traditionally been the biggest source of big data, and we're really good at processing that kind of data. But an emerging source of big data is data that's at the edge. What do I mean by that? I mean data from the physical world, pressure, temperature, vibration, light, sound, data that's all around us. and. Until recently, we haven't had the ability to put enough sensors at a cheap enough price point with enough intelligence that we can acquire all that data. And now we have a, this rich data lake of data from the edge that we can process and deliver business insights. So increasingly, we are seeing our customers recognizing that right. there is this source of big data at the edge. They want to be able to productize it. They want to be able to monetize it to both improve operations, to deliver new products. And really, the technologies that HP is building for the edge helps our customers address those. And uh, what do you consider, you put all these pieces together, 
what excites you about how you're going to apply that in the future, right? And where sure. we're headed in, let's just say, two to five years. Let's not even try and do sci-fi predictions no for problem. 10 years. Yeah. 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 So, you know, there, in, in the IT world, we're uh, very accustomed to applying now technologies like artificial intelligence and deep learning. Like when you go into your uh, Bing search and you type your search query, how does it know what word you're going to type next? It's because it's contextually aware. It knows where you are, it knows what you've searched in the past, and so you're able to help your users by predicting what the next word is. And those techniques are now commonly applied in your data center or cloud applications, but we believe there is a huge opportunity to take the same IT capabilities and apply it to solve problems in what we call the operational technology space. For example, could you use AI to look at those images from your manufacturing line and pick out cosmetic issues, which today is a very manual process where you need a human to look at every single object that comes off the line, right? Could you use that AI to predict when equipment's gonna fail before it fails? Because there is value to be had when you know your car's gonna die on Monday, and you know it on Friday so you can go on the weekend and get it fixed, then have it catastrophically fail on Monday. So we know there is a value to getting early advance warning. Right. And today the technologies exist in data center or cloud to do that. We want to be enable our customers to bring these capabilities out to the edge, close to the data that they want to analyze. I mean, so it sounds like the possibilities are infinite because if you have yes. enough data to predict an outcome and then prevent that, or maybe help it go along quicker, yeah. you could apply that to so many different industries. Uh, absolutely, and we don't need to reinvent the wheel because we are already doing that in the data center and cloud realm today. All we're doing is transplanting it by providing enough capabilities at the edge that you don't have to do a light version of your software, you don't have to do some custom coding which you know adds overhead and burden to deploying things at the edge. We want to eliminate that, we want to give customers a frictionless choice of do I want to put this workload at the edge, do I want to put it in the cloud, or do I want to split it as a ratio where a certain percentage runs in cloud and certain runs at the edge. We want to make it easy to do that. That's fantastic. Well, let's uh, shift gears a little bit, sure. go into our lightning round. Uh, so what app would you say uh, you absolutely can't live without? Uh, I, I love email, so you know, <laughs> yeah. Outlook, I would say, and the ability to search through you know, gigabytes of data and find that one email that I need, and uh, just being able to do that on my phone is just incredible. Yeah, that's a hourly occurrence. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so right. what would you say is the coolest uh, technology you have in your office? Sure. Um, so in Houston, where I'm based, we actually have an IoT innovation lab where we invite our customers and partners. And out of the number of demos we have there, I think the coolest demo is a retail video analytics demo because we're all familiar with the concept of uh, what we call frictionless commerce where you can walk into your retail store, pick up the product, it knows who you are, it knows what product you picked up, and you walk out the store and you automatically get billed. Right? We love that because nobody wants to wait in a, in right. a checkout line. Uh, and so we have a great demo where we're showcasing a number of AI accelerated video analytics uh, uh, software to you know detect people, detect your behavior, detect your actions, detect which product you're interested in, how long do you stand in front of the product, and, and then detect when you walk out, right? So uh, we think that that's a great showcase because uh, without AI, you cannot get the accuracy and fidelity needed to make that a reality. Uh, and so we believe in our lab with that demo, it, it's, it's a crowd puller. Because people love that. Right, and as you were talking, I just realized, you know, I, I do tend to do that, I do tend to, stop and stare at products and try and make a decision, but if you had a lot of data about my buying behavior, you might know what I'm gonna buy before I do. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, you know, so example is, could I change the price label there to give you a personalized Anna discount? Yeah. Could I push a Please. message to the app, you know, the retailer's app that you have on your phone saying, hey, I've noticed you've been lingering at this product and seems you're interested, I'll give you 20% off, buy it now. Yeah, so uh, which great I would. opportunities for push yeah. marketing, I think, yeah. <laughs> um, that's fascinating. So. Uh, as we start to wrap up here, what advice do you have for people who are watching and thinking, wow, that industry sounds amazing, I would one day want to be in your position? Yeah, I think um, the, the first thing we need to understand is uh, what opportunities exist for data that's collected at the edge, right? What new products and services can you build? What new efficiencies can you eke out of your current business operations? with the data at the edge. I think once you understand that, and, and the opportunities are immense, because much of that is brown free deployments, nobody is really putting IT, enterprise IT technologies there. Once you understand that the, the, the opportunities for us to build products and offerings in that realm are immense. And so really, to get into the space, I would start there. I would start with what is the outcome that you expect, and then see what are the technologies that we have deployed in data center or cloud, can we transplant out to the edge to make that reality for the customers. Well, thank you so much for joining us uh, and sharing all your insights with us. Yeah, it's a pleasure, Anna.
And thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more conversations right here from Microsoft Ignite.